Hey everyone, I'm Henny from Pink Elephant Media and in this tutorial you're going to learn how to install Google Analytics in just three easy steps. And by the end of the session you'll be able to see how many people visited your website, where the traffic is coming from, whether that is Google Ads, whether that is other websites, uh, pointing at your sites, whether that's um, Facebook, any other social media platform, the sort of journeys that they're going to take through your site, your most viewed pages. So Google Analytics really is a free tool that allows you to check your marketing performance and how that is working and how your website is also working. So the first thing we're going to do is create an account. The first account we're going to set up is actually Google Tag Manager. Now that may seem a little strange, but in 2020, Google bought in Google Analytics 4, which is an advanced Google Analytics tool, which really delves down into much deeper statistical data. But to do this, it has to run through one interface, which is Google Tags Manager. So although it's a slightly roundabout way of doing, of actually attaching your website to Google Analytics, um, it is actually a better way to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is set up your Google Tags Manager, and then we're going to show you how to put Google Analytics um, onto your website so you can start to collect that data. So you want to go to um, Google and type in Google Analytics Tag Manager, and this will take you to the Google Tag Ma Marketing Platform on Tag Manager. And you want to press Start for free. You, If you already have a Google account, you want to sign in with your original Google account. If you don't already have an account, what you want to do is create an account. So if you go to uh, create an account and enter the details in here um, from account name, so that could be the name of your company, uh, a container setup. So what it means by that is something that you would be able to identify what that actually meant. And in this instance, we want to click web. Then press create. And you want to go and just accept their terms and conditions and press yes. And then this will load up the Google Tag Manager that you can see here. Now, what you can see here is a um, how to insert this. So I'm going to show you how to do this on your website. Uh, so what you want to do is take the Google Tag Manager and you want to copy this section. Now, leave this up. The next thing you want to do is log in to your site. So I'm just going to log in to the WordPress website and bring this over. Now in here, you if you scroll down the side of the menu, you will see a tool called a tool called Divi. Um, so you want to select the Divi option going to find it for you here it is and I've clicked that already um, and in here you can see a tab across the top called integration and you want to paste the first code that you saw on your header now sometimes these can be disabled you want to ensure that the header code is enabled and then you want to press save changes and once you've done that you then want to get the additional code that you've got and copy that and paste that it said into the body tag so this is the body tag and again you want to make sure that the body tag code is enabled and you press save changes and then you can press ok and you have now got Google Tag Manager installed on your website. And the next thing we have to do is set up our Google Analytics account. The second account we want to set up is the Google Analytics account. So what you want to do is go to accounts.google.com and this will take you to this page. Now you want to sign up with the same 
um, account as you did for the Google Tags Manager. So if you remember that, you should be able to log in there. If you want to create an account, you press create account and then um, to manage my business. So if it's for yourself, that's just for general sort of leaving reviews, that kind of thing. But if you are setting it up, you want to choose the business one. And in here, you want to enter all the details. If it will take you through this sort of in a step by step. As I've already got an account, I am going to go into that account now and just show you how you then attach your Google Analytics. So if you already have an account, um, you want to go into your Google Analytics account and then click the um, little cog at the bottom and create an account. And in here, you want to name your account. I'm so going to name this pink elephant media test account. Um, keep all of these ticks. That's absolutely fine. And then press the next. And then you want the property name again. Um, something that you will recognize. So I'm just going to put PEM uh, training. And again, we want to select um, the currency uh, that is applicable to this country. So, and then press next. And here we want to select the category. So here you can see you've got a number of categories that you can select from. Um, um, and in this instance, I am simply going to click um, business and industrial, small business. And we want to sort of tick all of these options because at some point you will want to go into these. I just ignore other and then press create. And here you can see the terms of service. Again, you want to tick these and then press accept of um, this. And again, we want to set up the web. So this is for Android apps and this is for mobile telephones. But in this instance, we're just going to set up the web. And again, you want to paste your website address in there. Take off the HTTPS because it's already got it. Um, and then you can put pink. And these are all the enhancements that you can get page views, scrolls, inbound clicks, all of them. So you want to create that stream. And then what we want to do is um, it will give you a number of options here about how we can actually connect these two together from the uh, Google Analytics into the um, Google Tag Manager. So in this section here, you can see which is closed down. You want to, again, copy and paste this code in. So you take this code and copy the code. And again, you can see it's asked you to put it on the head of every page and it says for it to be the first item. So you want to go in here and go right up to the head. And then on number one, you want to paste that in and then just press a return so that you make sure that that is not on the same line. Um, and then you press save changes. And now your Google Analytics account is also connected to your website. And the way to test this is working is if you open up an incognito web um, web page with your um, name on it, it will bring up the um, website that you've got. And as you can see, um, it is now recognizing that there's one person now on that site. So if you come into the home area, that you've got, it will show real time people in per minute and it will begin to register that. It can take a few minutes for that to work. So just remain on it in the incognito window and then it will start to track all the events within that.